hi welcome to my youtube channel today what we are going to discuss um, is about the customs duty and VAT that we have to pay I have been getting a lot of questions on my um, social media on my uh, Instagram on my TikTok about um, the customs duty and um, the VAT that we have to pay when we bring our products in from uh, Amazon from Alibaba.com uh, or anywhere else from the world um, so today I'm just going to try and clarify that I have put up some slides together um, so yeah let's get into it okay so uh, basically custom duty and VATs are paid on goods that we import from China or anywhere in the world uh, if you buy them online or we buy them abroad and send them back to UK uh, or even if we receive them as gift we still have to pay uh, our customs duty and VAT on it okay so in all of this what our responsibility is before receiving our goods what we have to do is we have to make sure uh, let's put it on full screen so what we have to make sure is that we pay our customs duty uh, that I'm going to discuss in detail uh, just a little bit further down the line uh, we have to pay the VAT uh, excise duty and the most important thing is that we declare the value of the goods correctly this is a common practice with the Chinese suppliers that they sometimes uh, put the values declare them incorrectly which we should not do because if HMRC finds out they will make sure that you pay the full amount of the duty that is that you owe okay so um, tax and duty so Royal Mail is going or any other courier uh, DHL or parcel force or whoever you're using uh, TNT uh, UPS um, they will contact us um, to inform us how much we have to pay in customs VAT or excise duty you will not have to pay anything to the delivery company to receive goods worth less than 135 pounds so if your goods value is less than 135 pounds let's say I don't know you bought a, a, a I don't know a digital camera or a, a webcam or something for 50 pounds or 80 pounds or something you don't have to pay anything on that or the gifts are um, under the value of 39 pounds for example excise goods are for example like alcohol or tobaccos they will normally hold your parcels for about three weeks uh, if you have not paid the bill by then your parcel will be returned to the seller so basically what this is telling us that if our goods value is less than 135 pounds we don't have to pay any VAT or custom duty if the value is above 135 pounds then yes and in, ter in, in, in terms of the gifts if it's more than 39 pounds okay um, so customs duty um, a bit more in detail uh, you will be charged customs on goods sent from outside the UK or the UK and the EU if you are in the Northern Ireland if they are either excise goods we like uh, tobacco and alcohol or worth more than 135 as I explained earlier if you are charged custom duty you will need to pay it on both the price paid for the goods postage packaging and insurance so basically with the customs duty we pay is on the total value of the goods not just the value of the product so your the value of your product your postage your packaging insurance all of these included will give us the total value of our shipment and on that value of the shipment we will be paying our customs duty and VAT okay so you will need to know the tariffs or HS scores to calculate the exact rates um, I can show you how to find those on the government website uh, let me take you down um, basically you can even get these scores from your suppliers or if you uh, want to find it yourself uh, you can just go on to Google and type trade tariffs um, find the government's link I think it should be somewhere around here. yeah there you go so find the GOV link so you'll come up to this uh, page click here start now so here are all the categories the product types and stuff like that and the the, the chapters and the sections but well, you don't have to worry about them too much 
if you know what products you are bringing you can just click on those lines on those uh, links and go into them or you can just type them here so for this example let's say if you are bringing any kitchenware or like I don't know plastic kitchen yeah so if you go into here we can drill down further and see it's in this uh, it's gonna tell us that if you're bringing these infant feeding bottles or something it's 20% VAT 6% uh, is your customs duty and this is your commodity code what basically HMRC does is gives commodity codes to almost every product that we can think of that we can bring to this country so they can charge us the uh, the VAT and the customs duty absolutely correctly okay so once you found that what you can do is uh, let's go back to the slideshow yeah so let me show you an example so let's say for example your goods cost total cost of your goods is 10,000 pounds for this example and your shipping and insurance uh, comes to total of 5,000 pounds so in your shipping uh, includes your packaging as well obviously your ship packaging shipping insurance is 5,000 in total and uh, for this example let's say the import duty is 5% so total customs will be on 10,000 plus 5,000 which is 15,000 so 15,000 times 5% which is 750 pounds so that will be the amount of money as a custom duty that you will owe to HMRC the HMRC will charge us and uh, so the total that we will pay is 15,750 for our total shipment uh, plus VAT so the VAT is going to be 20% so that is going to take our total value 18,900 pound for the shipment. So the whole shipment that was supposed to be costing us 15,000 will cost us 18,900 including all our VAT and our custom duty. Hope this clarifies a lot. <clears throat> okay, so the, the HS codes that I mentioned earlier are, are called harmonized systems codes are international standards for calculating import duty taxes so basically almost about 160 countries if I'm not wrong from the memory 160 countries use this uh, HS codes to calculate the accurate amount of uh, import duties that we have to pay and it was first developed introduced in 1988 so each HS code describes a particular trade product which allows governments around the world to charge the right tariffs as I said earlier HS codes from from the basis for the tariff codes all over the world for instance the UK commodity codes are taking their first six digits from the corresponding uh, that you don't need to know okay so um, just to summarize the custom duty so non excise goods worth 135 pounds or less no charge as I said earlier Gifts above 135 and up to 630 pounds, 2.5 percent, but the rates are lower. Okay, and uh, you can call the helpline, the HMRC helpline, to get more information around that. And the gifts above 630 and other goods above 135, the rates depends and on on the tariff uh, codes that I showed you on. Uh, on the government's website so you can always check it over there to calculate your uh, your your uh, customs duty <clears throat> the other thing that we pay is the VAT as I explained earlier and VAT is charged flat rate 20% um, on uh, on all goods except for gifts worth 39 pound or less if your gift is uh, 39 pound or less you don't pay no VAT on that okay so if the products are coming from outside the UK to Great Britain we pay VAT on them. If the products are coming from outside the UK and EU to the Northern Ireland, we still pay VAT on them. And, and, and we owe it to the uh, HMRC. Apart from that, uh, there is not much to it. Uh, I know there is a lot of confusion around it, uh, but I have tried to simplify it as much as I can. And, and um, so the main things that you have to remember, let's just do a little quick recap. So basically, uh, we have to pay customs duty and VAT on all the goods that we bring into our country from China or from anywhere else to sell on Amazon or, or, or anywhere on eBay or wherever. Uh, so your customs duty will be charged um, according to your tariff codes. So you search your tariff codes on the GOV website. Um, 
and you can calculate your uh, customs duty according to that every category will have a different um, mostly i think is varies from th anywhere from 3% to 13% um, depending on the the product type and the commodity type and the vat is charged uh, on flat rate 20% um, on goods which are brought into the uk or the northern ireland from outside uh, from the outside countries and and that's all about it uh, guys if you need any more um, if you need to need to know anything more please feel free to comment and uh, ask the questions and i will be glad to answer and and help um uh, as always please 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 make sure you like the video so um it helps with the youtube algorithm uh, and it can reach to a lot more people and it can be beneficial for a lot more people and uh, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a video. So, hope this helps guys. Thank you very much and see you guys soon. Bye-bye.